we at Northrop Grumman are really proud of the fact that, that Poland has selected IBCS for the VSWA program. Uh, and what they've, in, in acquiring IBCS, uh, they're acquiring a system that, that genuinely is cutting edge. It is, there is no finer system, no more cutting edge command and control system in the world. And Poland, because they decided to acquire it at this point in time, uh, is essentially going to be acquiring the most modern integrated air and missile defense command and control system in the world. Uh, we hope as the Ministry of National Defense uh, evaluates the NAREV program, we, we hope that they recognize that in the acquisition of IBCS for VSWA, uh, that in fact the architecture affords the affordable integration of the sensors and effectors that they would acquire as a part of NAREV. Uh, so I'm with Northrop Grumman, and uh, this, the system that we are developing for the U.S. Army is called the Integrated Air and Missile Defense Battle Command System. And what IBCS is, is it's a net-centric command and control uh, system that essentially integrates sensors and effectors onto a network uh, to enable, uh, essentially, um, engagements of threat uh, weapon systems, whether or not they be uh, rockets, artillery, mortar munitions that are flying low in the atmosphere, uh, cruise missiles, uh, fast attack aircraft, uh, hypersonic missiles, ballistic missiles that may be flying uh, within, uh, both within and outside the atmosphere. So the U.S. Army selected IBCS about 10 years ago uh, as the centerpiece for its modernization program. Uh, and what IBCS does is it essentially componentizes the command and control of weapon systems like Patriot, and it replaces that command and control and essentially creates one command and control system for multiple uh, weapon systems. So within the U.S., um, systems like Ford Area Defense, uh, Patriot, uh, in the future, THAAD, uh, those command and control systems will be, uh, we will essentially modernize uh, that whole, uh, those programs will be modernized by integrating uh, their launchers and, and uh, radars onto an IBCS network. So in essence, a single command and control system uh, to, to enable command and control all the way from uh, the platoon level, all the way to the, the theater and national command level. So uh, with respect to, to Poland and the Ministry of National Defense, uh, a, a little over a year and a half ago, they made a selection of IBCS for the VSWA program. Uh, and uh, essentially the acquisition of four Patriot fire units that would be enabled by the IBCS command and control system. Uh, so today we are under contract uh, and on behalf of the U.S. government, on the Polish government, and we're working very closely on delivering IBCS as a part of the, of the VSWA program. Uh, as you look to uh, the NAREF program, the Short Range Air Defense Program, uh, one of the advantages of IBCS is that because it's a net-centric uh, command and control architecture, uh, it has the kind of capability, it's built on a, what we call a modular, modular and open systems approach architecture uh, that is extensible to other, other weapon systems. And so with respect to NAREV, should the Ministry of Defense decide to select IBCS for NAREV, as it has for, for VSWA, uh, they, will, they will enable, in essence, the integration of NAREV sensors and the integration of whatever effector or effectors that they might choose for NAREV. So we are on contract today. Uh, the contract provides for essentially the, the manufacturing of IBCS and through that foreign military sales agreement, uh, we'll manufacture, deliver those systems to the U.S. government. Uh, the timing of that will be in, the, in 2022. Uh, and so with delivery of, of IBCS uh, to, to Poland, uh, at that point we will go into system integration and checkout. Uh, and we'll go through new equipment training. So we will train soldiers uh, on the IBCS system uh, as it relates to being able to employ the system. Uh, and as, that, as you move forward, you would go from new equipment training to what we call institutional training, or training associated with uh, the, the, the warfighters. So Pol Polish units will take, act, will take, having been trained on the system, will then go out and train on it, and you'll have a declaration of essentially an initial operational capability. So IBCS is uh, what we refer to as a, a software-enabled system. 
It's built on a, on a network architecture. And because it's net centric and because it's built on that architecture, it has the capability to be extensible. And one of the things that within the US and I think uh, within NATO, there's increasing recognition that we need to be able to not just integrate single domains. So uh, there essentially are five domains. There's layer, there's, excuse me, land, air, uh, cyber, space, uh, and maritime. So essentially five domains. And there's recognition that you need to be able to integrate the command and control across those domains and to be, be able to integrate those sensors so that essentially on the battlefield, you're creating a single integrated air picture across all these multiple domains, and you're maximizing the capability of those systems and the, the effectors, the systems that actually go out and engage and defeat and kill threats, that all that is integrated, and it's integrated across multiple domains. And IBCS, because it's net-centric and it's a, it's a software-enabled system, uh, has that capability.